Hi, I'm Blue. And I'm Jay. And we're going to continue on Extra Ex Mortis Part 1. Because okay, we didn't so have enough time to finish it last time. The majority of what could I could understand seemed Be rather jumbled like that. and non- we are at the sound of the distant forest animals. Yeah, whatever. The sound of the distant forest animals stopped as if all life paused, waiting for my next move. The wind sounded outside, stopped pounding against the shuttered windows, and the candle winked out of existence, leaving me in almost pitch black conditions. I listened closely, as all I, and all I could hear over my heartbeat and rasping breath was the whispering that I shrugged off before. It was coming from every direction, yet no direction at all. The whispering slowly got louder until it sounded like a dull roar. Voices of many different types called out. They cried in pain, screamed my name, and shouted obscenities. obscenities. I dare not repeat. <laughs> There are so many of them, so many voices. I felt multiple hands pin me down to the chair by my upper torso, but every time I flailed my arms out in front of me, they connected with nothing but air. I heart, the harder I pressed against the chair, the harder it was for me to breathe, and soon I could not breathe at all. I blacked out. The last thing that I remember was a flash of my nightmare from the night before. A flash of the blood, a flash of the screams, the house. I woke up about 20 minutes ago, slumped in the same chair. It is now long after dark, and I dare not brave the sub-zero temperatures of the woodland winter to return home this evening. Tonight I will be staying here in this accursed house. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's... I sometimes think that I can still hear the whispering. Or are they just echoes of my earlier brush with madness? I can feel the urge of slumber rush towards me like a freight, freight train. I pray that I survive the night. Okay. Jeez, these things are wrong. No kidding. June 1st. Plagued by nightmares more vivid than I care to remember, I woke screaming. It appears that I sleep through the daylight hours. But it didn't matter to me. I was and sent to the fight the freezing I was sent to fight the freezing conditions outside, outside and, and return home. home but i was scared to move from the spot they started whispering to me again i wanted to leave but i couldn't or can't they won't re they won't let me i scream at them but they just laugh and utter obscenities back at me what i have what have I released upon this world? <laughs> oh, skip the second. June 3rd. Wallen Flower <laughs> spoke to me today. It is, it is he who has spoken of yeah. in the Ex Mortis. Oh, look. The game name. With, With every word he whispers in to my mind, I tremble as if my soul has been shaken to its core. Now we skip four more days. June 7th. I have been here for over a week now. Surely someone must be looking for me by now. I pray that they find me. My captors here won't let me leave. Every door, every exit. The handles turn, but the doors won't move on its hinges. June 16th. I no longer fear death. I actually pray that it, will, that it comes for me. June 30th. They still torment me, keeping me here, keeping me alive. They need me to, to, I can't even write of it. July 20th. July 20th. I feel my insanity has almost left me. I hallucinate so vividly. I can't tell what's real and what is not anymore. Hey, dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient shows me images of his former glory. I don't understand why they want me, why they need me. Uh, and she shows me images of his former glory. I don't understand why they want me, why they need me. July 26th. I'm actually surprised. I am told that they see... Seek not to control me. Seek not to control me. 
They only seek my assistance in aiding the inevitable. But why do I continue to resist? What they tell me makes more sense than anything I have ever known. But I still fear them and what they, they will, will do, do to me should I refuse. Should I refuse. We quit talking about me. But at this moment, I can't think of a single reason why I should. August 13th. Dang, it skipped a lot. Yeah. Is acceptance all that I have ever yearned for? But the greater good here is far more complicated. Yet so easy to, so much easier to obtain. They smile upon me now. Strangely though, I like it. I find myself basking in the warmth of their chilling promises. August 22nd. I am comfortable and I am learning about the true nature of the world and what is beyond it. I don't know why I continue writing in this journal. I guess that it's the last semblance of humanity that I have within me. <laughs> it's ridiculous though. I am being, I am becoming much more than the hum, much more than human with every moment that I spend under this patient tutelage. I said it right. <laughs> I have been <laughs> tempted to throw this journal into the fire on many occasions. Reading over its pages only remind of the, reminds of how weak I used to be. I've lost track of the day, but I am sure that I have been here for over a year. It has hey. no, hasn't been over a year. It has been a long, a long time, time since, since I've entered, entered anything. Just, oh, into this journal. I, I can rejoice, rejoice though. We will, will have, have company, company at, at last. last. I will finally be rewarded. A group approaches to, to provide me with the everlasting cup of life a day away. No more, no less, am I told. Wrath, death, death blood. blood. My d day had finally arrived. The ex mortis shall make the world remember what was, and I will be in integral in reinstating what that what will be. I can see them now, a group of campers as I was promised, three males and two females. Now all I can do is wait, wait for my time, become their hand, immortality. Im immortality beyond patience. Patience, patience beyond the dominion. I, I can, can taste, taste it now. now. Anoint me, Lord, that it Leo. The time has come. Okie dokie. Weird words. Random stuff. You know. Okay. Uh, I throw it so dry from reading all of that. You wanted to read it all. It's important right. history. I think there was like a stairwell back. I've already been in there. I know, but he said there was like some hasn't been used for years. There's nothing new. You're not gonna find the book. He moved it in the lounge room. Whoa! Uh, there was just eyes on that sculpture. Was there? Yes! I just noticed. I looked up and there was eyes. They closed as I looked at him. There was eyes on okay, the go sculpture. Okay, go back out and then go back in and see if it's... There Someone was a... Too. Dun. And then... Oh. See? Oh. There is eyes on the sculpture! Hello, mister. Oh, you're blinking too. Okay, good night. <laughs> I don't like that sculpture. There's stairs. Huh? There's stairs. There's obviously stairs right there. There's oh, no, it's not stairs. It's a wall. It just looks like stairs. There's a cellar entrance. Can you go? And there's stairs. Why are you whispering here now? Mm -hmm. He did say he didn't like, like the whispering. Why can we do the whispering though? I don't think we picked up the book. But you were special. Thump, thump. No thumping. Thump, thump. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's the lamp. 
uh, maybe. I just don't know where all this board came from. I mean, it could be the campers. <gasps> was that guy's head one of the campers? Maybe. The last video? Was it the last video? Or was the yeah, last that video? was last video. Last video? There's a guy. Head. In a microwave. In a microwave. <laughs> Why would it be in the microwave, though? The door has no handle. Where do you find that No, because it was fresh. I know, but why would it be in the microwave? I know, but still, if it was fresh and it couldn't be the campers. Yeah, because he said it was a long time. But why was it in the microwave? Uh, we've done everything in this house. Mm, I think. We don't know what to do now. Oh. Uh, that looks like part of a pentagon. One, two, three, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six. <gasps> Please don't make it a pentagon. <laughs> if it were a pentagon, Demonic. or fan, it doesn't seem to work in a long time. If it were a pentagon, there's it a would pentagon have a in the middle of it. Yeah, but you mean a demonic pentagon? It has a circle in the middle so around it. See, it's weird. Guys, head in my way. Look, there's this weird thing. I know. Looks like the symbol has been smeared into his smeared on his forehead. Look, it was burnt into his forehead. Yeah. And then you stop, so it didn't burn the blood. It's dripping. You can oh. watch it drip. How do you find a bigger weapon? I don't get it. Just don't what are we get looking any for? Any of this? I don't know. It's just a room. What are we looking for? I don't know. This is the lounge room. Yeah, he was in the lounge room. Yeah, but shouldn't the book be in here? Because this is where he's supposed to supposedly left the book. There's nothing at an entrance or in the scope of death. Maybe. Maybe he's still alive. He did say something about immortality. Sorry, that came out wrong. Immortality. There we go. In the library. And let's look at the creepy statue again. Boom. What is that white thing? What? I don't know. Looking for some stuff. The severed hand? Or, no. Some, I don't know. <gasps> Oh, it's Xavier. It's Xavier. Gr, the tales of my daughter Gwen is a sad and sorrowful fable. I refer to it as a fable, for my mortal brain cannot begin to comprehend the horror that I have witnessed in this house. So I cast what I have witnessed to into my memory of delusion and morbid fantasy. Hey, maybe this is the book he was talking about. My small family moved to this house of solitude last summer to escape the perils perils of society and to mourn the fortunate death of my wife Julia tuberculous claimed her life only months before my move to this place hindsight is a beautiful thing and knowing what I know now it was a move that I would never again make the days rolled onward towards inevitability and my daughter and I continued our simple existence being a scholar myself i enjoyed the passing the time reading the literature left here by the previous owner of this detached house many of the fine works he kept here provided to proved. be proved to be very, very old, old and of extreme interest, interest to me some works provided very challenging indeed and very hard to translate the library provided here an abundance of books, books flavored with subjects, subjects forced on focused, focused on, on the opulent. One particular book caught my interest simply titled Ex Mortis. The word is a deri der derivative of ex mortis, which loosely translate to the dead. Okay. Well we know what this ex mortis is. The this is the second part of Ex Mortis Part 1. 
Um, still going on. Still a lot of stuff to do here, obviously. Um, but. It's we'll, just confusing. <laughs> we'll see you next so, time. So, X Mort is translated. That's it. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.